okay uh, hello everyone uh, in today's class uh, i will yes. okay just okay in today's class i will discuss uh, very basics of microsoft word i will show the actually since you will use a smartphone for this course i will show you how to do the things in google docs on our smartphone so i in today's class i will show you very basics like how to create a file save open a file then you will learn how to format the text how to change the font style color highlight color highlight for text then we will go for like editing text cut copy paste then paragraphs aligning paragraph then line space then you will go for bullet number list very simple things now i am going to share my mobile screen i will show you how to do this on mobile i'm going to stop sharing here So now I will show you uh, how to do the things on mobile actually. So here, first of all, I will go for uh, doc, Google doc. This is our Google doc application. Okay. Now, first of all, you'll see how to create a file, how to create a file for this on the uh, left, uh, right, bottom left corner, bottom right. There's a button here, plus sign, click on the sign, then you will have option, new document, click on the new document. Then you will be able to create a new document. That's how actually you have to create a new document. For example, I will write something like AUW here, nothing else, AUW. So you can write anything here like your notepad or anything here you can write so there's lots of in uh, option here i will show it so i have read i have created a document and i have written something then if i want to save it i on the top left there's a tick mark gray uh, blue tick mark click on it then it will be saved so a file has been saved but i hope uh, on the top you can see that this is untitled document so we have to give in give a name here Click on the untitled document and give an emblem like our uh, test test wow, test test doc test doc for example test doc. So I have named it. So now the it has been changed say, from untitled document it has become test doc. If I go back now, I can see that a new file has uh, been appeared here on my Google Doc screen uh, or interface. That is test doc. So that's how you can create a file, and that's how you can create a file. If I want to open it, just click on it, test doc. So see, I have written a, just a word AOW. I can keep, I can get it here now again. So that's how you can create a file and open a file. So if you want to work on it more, on the bottom right, there's a blue pen here. Click on it, then it will give you the editing option. You can edit something here now i will write something here okay first of all you learn for uh, i showed you for the formatting text how can we format that text so i will write something now like for women Can you get the comment here? It's an international university. International university. I'm just writing some random things. Located in Chicago. This is the shared list. Also, this is the comment. Don't need the comma. So I have written something. Uh, so I want to work on it now. 
what can first of all for the text like we what can we do actually we can change the font style for the color for size so uh, like i want to select the first sentence asian university for women so i want to work on it so on the top above on the bar there's an a sign here so click on this sign click on this button actually so there are two options text and paragraph text this option is for working on text and paragraph this is for working on paragraph i will show it so first of all uh, it is saying that it's the style is normal text there's many option style font then size text color highlight color clear format so um, actually like ms word what you do on computer you will not get that thousands of features here you will get few core features in this google doc option but you will get the main uh, some important features here so we can work make some interesting document by using this limited features so i want to change the font style click on the font basically it is now arial uh, like i will go for you can change anything actually times new roman see i have selected times new roman so it has been changed i hope you can see that this is clear that the font is different than the others so that's how we can change the font you can select your uh font from here again i want to work on it more click on this a sign again a button like that is option size uh, by using this size option we can increase or decrease the size of the document size of the word text i'm making it like 14 it has been changed i hope you can see then there's text color highlight color so if you click on the text color like i am making it red so again click on the window so it has been changed uh, so i have changed the text size i have changed the text color okay now uh, i want to work like i have just selected chittagong bangladesh i want to work on it Listen, always you don't need to go that A button. Sometimes you will get some important features here. Like, see, on my screen now you can see uh, B, I, U. B is for bold, I is for italic, Q for underline. And A for here actually working on some color and text. So if you click on the B, it will be bold. Italic, click on the italic, it will be, italic means it will be diagonally shaped. Q means underline. Okay. So I have made lots of changes here for this. Uh, this Chittagong Bangladesh, this has been bold, italic and underlined. Then uh, I want to work some on it like international university. I want to focus this, focus this, these two words, international university. So what can I do? I can highlight the text. For highlighting the text, again, go for the A button like there's the option here highlight color listen i i got the bold italic you are underlined you can see this here also i show i showed you that sometimes you will get this option on your screen directly you don't need to come a here but basically it will uh, appear in here this a button so now if you click on the highlight color like there's lots of coloring option here i am going to select the yellow the highlight means it will highlight the specific text from your document so if in your document you know to uh, if you need to focus on something then you will you will use text highlight color like i find that this international university this should be focused or highlighted that's how i can highlight it highlight means actually it will give a background color to this text okay that's how we can work on text we can change the font font style size color underline it boldly these are some very important features actually okay then um then there's some Im more important things cut copy or copy paste like um i will write something new then there are five major program there are five you can write see 
okay there are five minutes now i will show you how to cut copy paste redo and undo this is a very important topic like um this is very simple in mobile actually there are five major programs for example i want to copy this one copy and paste then whenever i have selected click and drag right i'll show it again click sorry click long click then you will have option to drag it long click then you will have option to drag it then you can select these words that means i want to work on this word click on the so already i have a window here i am getting cut copy paste options click on the copy and click here like i want to paste it here so i have copied there are five major programs i want to paste it here now now again long click you will have option paste paste so there are five major programs see i have copied this one and pasted it here okay like if you what is cut paste again select these things there are five major programs copy means it will make a copy of these words and paste it here so the main or main words will be there it will it will not be removed but if you select cart here see the this the main words has been removed again paste there are five major problems so if you use copy paste copy means it will just copy the words cart means it will remove the main sources words and paste it in somehow so this is cut paste copy paste there are something else uh, like uh, major program for example now i want to like uh, i want to select the whole thing and i want to like um, underline this one so i have underlined these words this sentence there are five major programs then i thought that okay i should not underline these things actually uh, i should get back to my go back to my normal forms or normal style that means before underlining this sentence or the, this sentence there are no underlines this was a simple sentence i want to return back to the text what can i do i have to undo my task here undo means if you do a task like i have added underline here but then after that you don't want this you want to go back to your previous step then you have to undo the text how the, on the top there are two arrow option actually rotating arrow left one is undo right one is redo what is redo i will show it if you click on the undo see i have underlined these words now after clicking on the undo the underlining option has been done now it it has again returned to its normal state but if you click on the redo again it will come so if you click on the undo it will go on it will begin if you click on the redo again it will uh, appear the underline that's how you can use underline and uh, sorry undo and redo undo and redo are two very important features in program uh, function of program should enter change in your uh, document then don't worry click on the undo it will always go back to its the previous state previous step so accidentally if you make any uh like an um, error or change or notification that you don't need to stay here then click on the undo option it will give you the previous step so these are very important topics for our uh for making text then we will work on uh, paragraph actually i'll show you some important things on paragraph like i want to write a paragraph i have to copy something for example like from google i want to copy something okay and that's what you know i did that i'm not about and then like i want to copy something like from aw about aw asian university for even like from the hari the wiki page this is the wiki page and to copy this line for example the text one for one okay
Ahí de ahí ganó la luz. For example, I have some. I have, now I want to work on it. First of all, uh, I will work align. I will work paragraph align. Aligning means uh, how to align or set your words on the screen. For example, um, if you click anywhere on the paragraph and go to this A, A button and click on the paragraph you will get some option aligning options see by default it is by default it is left aligned then there is center aligned right aligned justified so by default okay i i want to show it here now for you like you know, what is left aligned right aligned the uh, center aligned aw for example i want to set it on the center what should i do see i will show paragraph later click on the a click on the paragraph See, AOW is now left aligned. It is set on the left side of your window. If you click on the center, I hope you can see it has been set to center. If you click on the right align, it has gone to the right align. And justifies, I will show it on uh, paragraph. So left means it will be left aligned. Center means it will be in center. See, I have set these words AOW now in center aligned. Okay, now go to the paragraph. We will work on paragraph on it click see on the paragraph here we can see that this is a nice paragraph but on the right side of the window there are some spaces there spaces there so this format will be changed if we change the align so I'll, i told you that always you don't need to go this a button sometimes you will get your option here so click on the paragraph i am getting actually a, a, um, aligning option here on my screen so after the a button before above my uh, keyboard here that is if you click on the arrow, you will get aligning option, left align, right align. If I click on center, see it has been centered. I hope you can see the difference here. Again, click on the right align. See, right align, all the paragraphs has been aligned to right. I hope you can clearly see the difference. If you click on the justify, justify is very uh, smart actually aligning for paragraph. There is no space on the left or right. It has been occupied by the words so if you click on the justifies there will not be no space on the left and right so if you click on the like left align there will be some space here on the right if you click on the right align there will be some space on the left but if you click on the justify so it will be totally fine so to perfectly set on your uh, on your document so that's how we can aligning something aligning is very important uh, feature then another thing click on the a paragraph we will, we will increase the line space line space means it will increase the space between the lines on your paragraph again go click on the a button click on the paragraph see there's option line spacing by default it is 1.15 if i increase it to 2 okay again click here see now there's a big space between the lines it is obvious i hope you can see it okay that's how you can increase the line spacing if you need it in your paragraph documents. Okay. So in paragraph, um, like again, you can do something. Let me check. Uh, do you need something? Okay. Okay. Like again, I want to do work something like Asian University for Women. I want to focus this word. Again, click it, then click on the A button, text highlight, highlight color. I want to make it like yellow. So I want to make it like yellow. So see now it has been focused on the document. Again, I want to remove my lens. I want to change my line space and to make it 1.5 or 1.15 again so you can do lots of changes here okay now it looks good so that's how we can work on paragraph now the like uh, i i will show you another thing now bullets and numbering 
like if you create any list in your document you can add some bulleting point or numbering point for example uh, if i write that at aw we have five major program five majors i don't know actually how many majors are there five majors are like mm, economic economy uh public health public health bioinformatics bioinformatics okay not five majors like three majors for example majors major majors that okay i have some list of the subject economics public health bioinformatics i want this should be like listed bulleting or numbering list i have selected these things and click on the a button like click on the paragraph so there's the option here see the left one is numbering one two three if you click on this arrow you will get lots of option the right one is bulleting option if you click on there you will get lots of option i am clicking the first one bullet and i am clicking on the window again now see it has been listed economics public health by public it has been bullet there are some bullets before it again if i want to make it numbered select the whole thing click the number it, it will be now number majors are economics public health one two three that's how you can add some list on your document so today we learn some important features on our google docs uh, we learn how to take, save a file create a file open a file uh, we learn how to cut copy paste color the text change the font style color then we learn how to doing some work on paragraph paragraph aligning highlighting text and we learn how to add some bulleted list and other things number list so i am done with this i want to save it now click on the blue button here now test job it has been saved with uh, with the modification if i click it click on it i will get that whatever i have written there it is there it has been saved there so that's how you can create some interesting documents by using the doc okay i'm going to stop sharing my screen okay that's actually all for today and thank you